the fuckery continues. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Man allegedly approached with hatchet, called her Rachel Slayer. Slur. So this was reported two days ago. This is ridiculous. A South Carolina man is always in the damn South and Boston. A uh, South Carolina man is facing charges after he allegedly called the neighbor a racial slur and approached her with a hatchet. Oh, you're creative. All right. According to WBTW, uh, 23-year-old Kyle Lawson Louder, you're young. You're creative, young, and stupid. Was charged with assault and uh, B of a high and aggravated nature in connection to the August 1st incident. Why'd you have to do it on that damn day, bitch? On the night of the incident, police were responding to a report about a disturbance at Ranchit Circle. A responding officer was told by bystanders that the suspect was a skinny white kid who had previously been involved in a domestic dispute. He will try again, Ness. Now, I know he will, and I hope he gets caught. Uh, let's see, where was I? Um, okay, the officer approached Louder, who he recognized from a prior incident involving his incident. What the fuck? That's too many incidents. Louder was allegedly uncooperative and showed signs of intoxication. He was verbally aggressive and refused to comply with instructions. Okay, that is, he wouldn't sit still and was cussing people out. Louder later admitted be to being fucked up and throwing a bottle in anger, according to a police report. The suspect said he was upset because of his girlfriend coming over, which is a previous situation had led to law enforcement being called due to a, D a DV issue. Can I just stop right here and say this shit, okay? This dude threw a fucking bottle, but yet someone had a boiling pot of water in a whole different room. That she wasn't even sitting, stand, you know, touching, and uh, she got pew pew. But this bastard is alive and fine. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I hope you at least scratched him, you dirty bastard. Make it make sense. He had a hatchet. He threw a motherfucking bottle. She had boiling water. She was not touching. She really wasn't paying attention to it until that bastard said, go turn it off. Okay? I'd rather my damn water boil over. Just, it'll put the fire out on its own. Dirty bastard. Anyways, Louder later, yeah, I already said that. According to witnesses, Louder beat on the walls and pulled out a hatchet during the incident. Video shows Louder approaching the neighbor with the hatchet and calling her a racial slur. Louder also allegedly made threats as he walked towards her with the hatchet being held in his hand over his head in a motion consistent with someone about to make a slashing moment with an axe or a hatchet. So this bastard is Jason. Great. Louder was booked into the J. Rubin Long Detention Center on Thursday and released on a $40,000 bond on Sunday. I wish I had $40,000 damn dollars. I'd put a down payment on a, a, a condo or some shit. Damn. What the hell does that say? Oh, okay. Uh, the Popo probably was nice to him, but if it was us, he would have made, he wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. He had all them damn deadly weapons. She had hot ass water. And uh, the holy word, that's all she had. And the motherfucker put her down. How does that work? Y'all never make any damn sense. The shit don't work. This, why, this, this is why I look like this now, okay? This is why my eyes are red, because I can't handle this. Y'all motherfuckers give me so much stress. You're going to give me an ulcer. I can't go outside without being scared, because I'll be caught out there black. Shit. Can't even walk around you. You're guilty. Black wall outside. Shit. Anyways, uh, like I said, the fuckery hasn't stopped. It's not as dark, but it's still fucked. Let's go. Hey, Bev. Black restaurant owner. Hey, Miss Bev. I'm sorry. I'm. I, I, I was trying to make sure my graphics matched up. Black. Black uh, restaurant owner wrongly arrested for having same name as suspect. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. How do they make these mistakes? I don't know. 
An Ohio restaurant owner was wrongly arrested in a case of mistaken identity, uh, WTOL reports. The wrongful arrest of Darnell McCloud, owner of Fremont Coney Island, unfolded in Fremont, Ohio. Ooh, I wish I had a uh, chili dog. On July 11th, officers entered McCloud's restaurant and told him they had a warrant for his arrest. However, it was later discovered that the suspect the police were looking for was a man named Darnell Smith. McCloud was detained because they shared the same first name. Damn it, do you not read? Who? They wonder why some of us have PTSD. I know I do. Shit. I get nervous when the motherfuckers are behind my ass. I'm like, these motherfuckers are checking my license plate. I already know they're checking my license plate. All right, Mr. Motherfucker, let's see how far you're going to follow me. Because I'm going straight. I ain't turning. Fuck you. Wait a minute. I'm going to turn. And then, and then they have to keep going or show that they're following my ass. That's all I got to say. Uh, you gotta keep your, you gotta keep them on the toes. Anyways, where was I? Uh, okay, so you have a warrant, Darnell. One officer told McLeod per body camera of the incident. Police failed to ask McLeod for identification before taking him into custody. Officers also declined to show him the warrant. Uh, how many, how many laws have y'all broken? This is ridiculous. What am I getting locked up for? What did y'all show me? Uh, what did y'all show me? McLeod asked the officers. It's for the county. The county's going to serve it to you at the jail, the officer replied. After arriving at the county jail, McLeod corrected an employee who asked about his identity. My name ain't Mr. Smith, McLeod told the employee. My name is Mr. McLeod. My name is Darnell McLeod. Oh, yeah, I just heard about that. Uh, God dang T.I. got into that shit. These motherfuckers don't give a shit. As long as you black and got the same name, you guilty. I told you, outside while black, you guilty. Anyways, let's see here now. Oh, let's see. Officers then ran McLeod through the police system and discovered their mistake nearly 30 minutes after he had arrived at the jail. What, what the fuck you mean you ran hit? You just trying to find hit? You, you mother... Let me breathe. Y'all ran this motherfucker's name when he was innocent so y'all could maybe find something so y'all could keep him. Did you not see? Did, can, do you not understand? We can see you. We can see you doing this shit. You know that, right? We understand. We can see you. Shit, y'all stupid. I was pleading my innocence from the beginning, all the way from the beginning, actually, McLeod told WTOL to be taken all the way down to the county jail for no reason. It was very humiliating. Police Chief Derek Wisen Win Winsinger issued an apology following the incident. That's all. Man, I want money. I want compensation. I'm coming for you. I think all of y'all need your paychecks, Doc. Bitches. I'm, of course, disappointed we didn't live up to the standards that our community expected us to. Police Chief Derek Wisinger said in a statement, I just want to know, y'all didn't even read your damn paperwork, did you? Because you didn't look at the man's last name. You just, was it even spelled the same? Shit. Okay. So he said, uh, we can't do this alone. We need community support. With community support, we are exponentially better at doing our job as police officers. What the hell does the community have to do with y'all not asking this man his identity? With y'all not reading the name of the person you're actually supposed to uh, arrest, huh? What does the community, don't put us in this shit. We ain't got nothing to do with this. That's all you over there. You don't read. Like Sister Girl said, reading is fundamental. Saw that, and I know they knew that there was T.I. I'm telling you right the hell now. Like I said, uh, these motherfuckers need to read. When the goddamn people that's supposed to be, you know, protecting you don't even read shit, you, shit gets scary. God dang. Ooh. So they said, we have been talking amongst ourselves on ways we can do better. It's not just with interactions like this. There's other things that we can do better. How about training? How about training? Do better on your training. How about that? That might help the whole situation. That's all I got to say. Y'all some ignorant bastards and you get on my fucking nerves. You arrested this man from his job, from his uh work, his goddamn business, all right? And um, you took him down there and didn't even bother to check his... Maybe it's what you're doing. Oh, never mind. Anyways, you didn't even bother to ask the man who the hell he was when you went in there. 
make it make sense. Now, before I continue, you know what I got to do because sometimes, you know, my mods have lives too. So here's my commercial because I'd be forgetting to tell y'all to, you know, subscribe and shit. And I lost people, so I'm worried. Here we go. Damn it. Oh, for real? You really don't want to play? Oh, give me a second here. I know you didn't. It's just me and a fan. It's just me and a fan. It's just me and a fan. It's just me and a. It's just me and a fan. It's just 